Are you coming along, breathing the love, open up your heart and hey, are you coming on down, bring in the light, open up your arms and hey, are you coming along, breathing the love, open up your heart and hey, are you coming on down, bring in the light, open up your arms, hey, hey, are you coming along? 1942, Albert Einstein was teaching at uh, Oxford University and he gave a physics exam to his senior class of physics students. And as he was walking through the campus with his assistant, his assistant asked him, but uh, Dr. Einstein, this exam you just gave to your senior class of physics students, is that not exactly the same exam you gave to exactly the same class one year ago? Mm, yeah, 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 said Dr. Einstein. It's exactly the same exam. But Dr. Einstein, how could you possibly do that? Asked the assistant. Well, said Dr. Einstein, the answers have changed. The answers have changed. What was true in 1942 is even more true for today. We live in a world where the questions stay the same, but the answers change. In other words, what, you got, what got you here will no longer get you there. And if you want results you've never had before, well, you need to start doing things you've never done before. Now, the key question for today is, of course, is there a method to the madness? Is there a way each of us can do impossible things to truly great dramatic results? And the good news is the answer to that question is yes. Because what I'm going to explain today is when it comes to our performance, the majority is always wrong. And now you can use that to get everything you've got, everything you can with everything you've got. When people, teams and organizations Whenever they hit a wall, they tend to do one of two things. They either do more of the same thing, or they do less of the same thing. But very seldom you'll see they try different things instead. If you look at data, only 3% of people are even inclined to even try different things. And the remaining 97% keeps on hitting that brick wall like a crazy energy bunny on a Red Bull overdose. Over 95% of our life, we run on automatic pilot. Many of you right now are sitting here listening to me on automatic pilot. And I know who you are. Warren? <laughs> and if you have tunnel vision, hmm, it's a bit of a problem because it confuses people about our own performance. And this is the reason why many people go through life like a mediocre race car driver who sits in their car, looks in their rearview mirror, sees their competition behind them, and are so freaking far behind that they think they're first. The box in which we think in actually looks more like this. So what it shows is the box in which we think in is actually very, very small. In other words, if you do what everyone else is doing, you get the results everyone else is getting. And those are normal results. And the thing we are after here today are extraordinary results. Breakthrough innovation, extraordinary results, happen when people decide to finally break the standards and the norms of the industry or professional field. And by understanding that the majority is always wrong when it comes to high performance, finally, you have the opportunity to quit fixing things and move to massive innovation instead. The object of life is not to side with the majority, but the object of life is to escape finding oneself joining the ranks of the clinically insane. If you do what everyone else is doing, you are not distinguishing yourself and you are probably stuck. 
And this is why when it comes to high performance, the majority is always wrong. This is what we know. We know that 3% of people are able to achieve extraordinary results. And each of you can become part of those 3%. By deciding as of today to break your industry standards and to break your industry norms. The alternative, of course, is that you become part of the 97%. Who, in the end, work for those 3%? And as of today, that choice is completely yours. Thank you very much. Let's get a shout out from all the .NET people. Uh, can we get a shout out for all the Java people? Can we get a shout out for all the designers? So can you get a shout out for the, the mobile guys at the back? We can be 50 mobile developers and we can be 50.NET developers and 50 Java and 20 design. But together as a whole, we're much more powerful in the industry to say that we are actually 180 technologists within DDT Java. And I think if we all work together and we all have the same experience within DDT, that would get us much further than any other way. Going forward in the immediate future, these are the guys that's going to make sure all of you do great work, happy, innovative, up to the latest technology standards. You're learning. We are here for learning all the time, as you know that. Um, yes, so these would be the guys that you can speak to. All right, thanks. We're going to be really focused on improving your relationship and your connection to DBT a part of which will form helping you map your career with DBT. So we'll spend some time with you working on a personal development plan on where you want to be, what you want to learn, where you want to go. Uh, we're going to have a dedicated talk every single month with speakers from within DBT. Um, it's going to give you guys an opportunity to not only contribute, but to learn from each other on a wide range of tech. That's our plan. It's for you not to just rock up one day and saying, I'm immigrating, here's my, my resignation. Let's facilitate it. Let's keep you in the family, if I can put it like that. So who's brave enough to say that they would consider moving, going offshore if it was an opportunity? Wow. 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 Put that in there. So, okay. So, so that's the point, guys. If there's no more questions, I think the session is done. Right. The vision is to become uh, the employer of choice for software engineers, designers, and technologists in South Africa. To expand our turnkey projects locally and internationally across the delivery centers. The vision is to expand our boundaries into Europe and other countries. To expand our business into Europe and other countries. Very exciting. DBT is looking to become the leader in custom software solutions globally. I don't know, I've never met a shark in person, but I do know the vending machine most of the time has some uh, snacks for me, which, uh, so if I die from snacks, I think I'll die full, and that'll be a great thing, so I feel great about that. If I was a Spice Girl, I'd be Posh Spice. When I received my first paycheck, it was, it was great. It was, um, it was more than what I expected. I love the tech space. It looks like it's a nice area where we can sit, think, and solve different kinds of problems. If I was the CEO of DBT, what I would try to do is actually get more women into tech. We need a whole lot more women in tech. This whole field is just dominated by men, so we need a whole lot more women. I work every day because it's my passion. Uh, I've always loved uh, building software, developing software. For me, it's become more of a hobby than just work. My relationship with DVT 
doesn't really feel like an employer, employee relationship. It feels more like a family. I enjoy working in front-end development. I have only been working in front-end development from February. I used to code in Java, but I've learned so much in the graduate program that it's changed everything that I'm doing. So I go to work to enjoy what I'm doing. I just love what I do and DBT offers a great time uh, with me doing what I love. That's why I come to work every day. I just love tech and, and the people that I work with, really cool and smart. I love working with technology and learning new things every day. Honestly, I love my job. I love what I do. Um, I love solving problems for people, normal, everyday problems, giving solutions via mobile and tech. To make an impact, to make a difference and make sure that what you do actually affects someone in a positive way. DVT is a great company, so it also keeps you uh, motiv motivated to actually go to work and do what you have to do, even though we had a client. It's still pretty awesome. I love it. I really just enjoy what I do. Um, being an Android dev, I, I see it as being part of my DNA, to be honest. I absolutely love it. Are you coming along? Are you coming along? Are you coming along? Yeah. Hey, are you coming along? Are you coming along? Are you coming along? Yeah. Hey, are you coming along? Are you coming along? Are you coming along? Coming along, are you coming along, are you coming along, are you coming along, yeah.